Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to another Sims 4 slash maybe Sims 5 news. Who knows, Sims community has been doing some digging, writing up some very interesting articles indeed. I know the Sims 4 news might not be the most interesting to some of you. We did actually get a leak for the new kit. This is likely to be coming out on February the 3rd of 2022. We all know how I feel about kits. I mention it every video, but if they're a third of the stuff pack, I think they should resemble the third of a stuff pack price, which would be three pounds in the UK. However, with this one, I do actually like some of the assets that come with it. This is another creator sim kit, which I know we've seen a lot of recently, but this was leaked by the Microsoft store. Illumia Italia was the one who actually found this little leak. This time around it's for the upcoming kit titled The Sims 4 Carnival Streetwear Kit. So this is inspired by Brazilian Carnival. And I have held my hands up on my Twitter and said I actually quite like the look of this. I feel like this is what modern menswear was trying to be. I'm sorry, I feel like this looks a little bit better on all frames than modern menswear did. Obviously we don't know how some of these are gonna look on more feminine frames because these sims right here are using masculine frames so we don't really know how they're gonna go with the other frame that we have in the sims 4 but let's have a little look see let's see what we've got one of my favorite things about this is these like little I think they're love heart glasses they look like they're a heart we've been getting some really nice glasses in the sims Sims 4. I'm never going to complain about having more funky glasses. I am that person who aspires to have like a different pair of glasses for each day of the week. I don't think I will ever get there, but that is my millennial dream. And I feel like since cottage living, we've been having a nice few pairs of glasses. This little rainbow jumper crop top with a high neck. I love a turtleneck and I just really like this. I'm going to use this an awful lot. It is a crop top. There's a lot of crop tops. I know they're not everybody's jam. These are actually new shorts, which I actually really like the length of these shorts. I kind of wish that there was like a tuck on the bottom so it looked like the denim had been rolled up just because I am a gay. I kind of hope they come in a lighter denim than that because I feel like in summer, like when you're going out, you're probably going to wear a lighter denim, at least for me personally. That's personal preference though. I think this is going to be a full body outfit. I really actually like this. I love the high waistedness of it. I think it fits the masculine frame very, very well. Like I said, we don't know how it's going to fit on a feminine frame if it does fit on a feminine frame. I think we're getting some new makeup. I can't 100% tell. This might already be in base game. I'll be real. I use custom content makeup all of the time. New earrings, new bracelets, I think. On this sim, I love this outfit. I always love a long cardigan. They did it in Paranormal. They did it in City Living. Full body outfit. I love the kind of like swimming costume vibe underneath it with like the cutaway leotard. These look pretty base gamey but I think this is going to be a full body outfit anyway. To be fair sequins just aren't my jam. I'm not a very sequin person. I don't know if you know that about me. I don't think I've ever been caught dead in a sequin because I just don't like them so not really my preference. However I do like how we have another crop top for masculine framed sims. Probably not going to get use out of it though. I think the only one that, that we have is either fitness stuff or the like rock climbing one fitness stuff pack. I can't remember what it came with. I think we only have one of them. Probably still not going to get a lot of use out of this. I'll be real with you. New nails from the looks of it. I'm assuming these are going to come in the kit. So this is the first time we'll see an extended nail because obviously we got them in the spa day refresh and we got them in base game, but this is the first time they're really bringing them into a pack release. If you can count a kit as a pack release. So rainbow, glittery, sparkly nails. I adore adore the skirt. See, this is the thing. I actually really like some of these pieces. I love this full body fit. I love the turtleneck. I love this skirt and I love this top in particular. However, having said that, I know as a PC player who is able to download custom content, 
I already know I have pretty much this exact top available to me as a player who can download custom content. I know console players can't download custom content and there are a lot of PC and Mac players out there who also can't run their game with custom content. So take that with a pinch of salt if you are able to. I know that these sort of assets do exist. I just really love this skirt. I am fully in love with it. Again, we have this dress which is sequined, which again, I'm probably not gonna get a lot of use out of. I love the silhouette on it though and I do think that this kit is nice if you want to expand like your formal wear or party wear because I think a lot of the dresses that we have in the game aren't the best looking things in the world like cash your mind back to luxury party stuff and those kind of things. This feels like a slightly more elevated, more sort of modern version of that. This could work as like, I don't know, if you have like a prom mod in your game, maybe like a prom dress. And then we have this full body fit, which isn't anything special. I absolutely adore the top. I'm hoping that a custom content creator is able to separate this from the outfit because I'm not the biggest fan of like the shorts and... I wanna, why do I wanna say breeches? What are they called? We don't know if this is gonna be all of the stuff that's included in the kit and it is to represent Brazilian carnival. I've seen people say, hey, this is like super accurate to what you would see at carnival. I've also seen people say, I wish they pushed it a little bit further and kind of had like more glitter or more sparkle. So wherever you sit on that debate, I'm just happy that I can bring this news to you in case you missed it. Thank you, Microsoft, for the good old leak. And then I did mention that we might have some Sims 5 news. And again, this is by Jovan over at the Sims community. So all props to Jovan. Before we begin with this post, let me state the obvious. Nothing is officially confirmed. Also the same on the kit front. I mean, we do have like that render slash screenshot asset, which obviously makes it feel a bit more real, but nothing has been confirmed. It was just a leak from from Microsoft. This is once again from the official EA Careers website and they've posted a job description. We're looking for a gifted visual storyteller to help visualize designs, gameplay experiences, and technology solutions through animatics and storytelling. As such, we need someone who can help us explore body language, visualize relationship dynamics, and play with timing and spacing between characters. How do a couple watch a romantic movie together? when one is upset with the other? How does a husband engage in a conversation with his wife whilst he almost breaks a new record on his favorite video game? How does a family cook together in the same kitchen whilst carrying out a conversation? We don't really have a lot of these in The Sims 4, I'll be real with you. I was kind of hoping that this may be a job posting for like maybe updating sentiments and like actually having an effect on your gameplay and like actually having an effect on how your sims talk to each other and like if one's in a mood with another how that would have an effect on the relationship so who knows maybe this will be for the sims 5 in the future maybe this will be for the sims 4 we don't know we never know with a career based thing we would assume that it would be next iteration considering we do know that there is probably a sims 5 in the process due to other job postings i've never enjoyed a storyboard in year six of school they try to make us do storyboards of like what our freaking secondary school thing would look like. Ah. Don't, don't get me to do that. I also had to do a storyboard of my first communion. Gotta love a Roman Catholic primary school. What a time. The storyboard artist will also have to bring in some examples and sketches of given scenarios, including a conversation between multiple characters, a dinner sequence involving an extended family, and a lively sidewalk scene outside a store. Which, let's be real, The Sims 4, we can have a conversation between multiple characters, Dinner sequences don't work all that well and we also do not have extended family in The Sims 4 and a lively sidewalk scene outside a store, we don't have stores. This part is purely speculative as we don't have any official confirmation yet, but all this preparation and development hints to features and game modes that we could expect from the next generation Sims game, or as we call it, The Sims 5. I will hold my hands up and say, I don't actually think I've ever played life stories. I think I dabbled when I was young but I don't think it's ever been something that I've like actually delved into. Kind of the exact same way 
as Medieval and also Castaway. I had Castaway and I vividly remember playing Castaway. I didn't really like it all that much. I think it's a great game now. Looking back on it, if I played it now, I would thoroughly enjoy it. I think it was just very repetitive as a child. And I was so used to playing The Sims on PC. There was still even then this big sandbox thing. And I didn't really like the story driven stuff all that much because it just didn't feel like my Sims games that I personally grew up with. However, we all know that I love a narrative story nowadays, which fingers crossed. I know we've been having the discussion a lot about The Sims 5 having a multiplayer option because it definitely seems like EA has been doing their research on how that stuff works. But fingers crossed this is meaning that we're still gonna have that like story driven sort of single player experience in the future of The Sims. Because honestly, I don't think a Sims game would work without it. I think The Sims has been such a single player game since the year 2000. That if they don't balance that out well enough, they're gonna lose a large portion of their main fan base. And I know we're in 2022, like a lot of games have multiplayer mode. And I've kind of like come round to the idea that I probably wouldn't mind an Animal Crossing scenario. You know, like if you had a world in The Sims, let's take Del Sol Valley, for example, and you had that save and you had that world and you had your Sims living in it. If you could invite your friends, like, into your save and like hang out and they be able to build in that save and you could kind of share a save together online in a multiplayer mode. I am all for that. I think that could be really cool. I think that's very cool for like collaboration, for creativity, for having fun with your pals. We've all seen how important multiplayer games have been throughout this pandemic. And so I wouldn't mind that aspect, but I don't really want like a worldwide online Sims game unless like there's still that single player portion to it. So let me know what you think of all this news down below. Also a quick little notion, I have talked about like the effects of the pandemic on production of The Sims 4. And I have had people say to me like, don't blame this on the pandemic. You can't say that this is the pandemic's fault. And true, I don't know how The Sims team work right now. I don't know what they have been working on. I don't know any of this and I'm taking it all with a pinch of salt. But logically speaking, I think the expansion packs and the game packs and the stuff packs that we got, I know we haven't had one since Paranormal and I really miss some Sims team. Please give me a stuff pack. But I do think that they were all in production before the pandemic. I think they were all in production before March of 2020. And I think since then, obviously there has been a sort of drought of content, especially those bigger packs that take more work and take more collaboration between the teams because of the pandemic and because EA have been working from home. I'm really glad that EA are putting their employees first. They're looking after them. They're keeping their families safe. And I think I think that's personally more important than a game right now. And so I think that's why we've seen the introduction of kits to sort of kind of fill those content drops. Again, kits might have been in the plan this whole time. This might just be me like thinking about it and trying to see like the bright side of the situation. And that could be it. But I think personally, that's probably where it's coming from, even though kits aren't my favorite. But I would love to know what you think about this kit. And and also this story driven news. What do you think? Does it sound like something that would be up your alley? I'm definitely gonna have a think on it and see if I can like come up with some ideas as to what it could mean more. As always, this is all speculation and nothing has been confirmed. I appreciate you all so, so much and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Bye now.